Um, there's so many festivals right now that you have to have something different to offer if you're going to su survive. So you have to have a good idea, I think, and a really good reason for existing. If that's clear, you've got a chance of success. I think you have, the second thing is, a good place, like a location, has to, has to suit the message you're, you're trying to get across in, in your medium, whether it's animation or film. If you're in a good place that people want to go to sometimes, it can, it can help. Um, I think being responsive to industry and audience needs uh, in the programming, in the way you set up your, uh, your curation of, of your sessions and things makes for uh, something that people will want to come back to because they know they're going to be on the cutting edge of something. And the, the closer you can be to that, I think you've got a good s chance of success. Um, having, a, a, having, a clear, having a clear curatorial kind of line as well, to know that you, it's about quality, having good things on, people really want to see and understanding your audience. If you get those combinations together, you're going to make a good festival because that brings you a good atmosphere. And that you can't create that, you have to, it, it, it comes from the people you attract. And that atmosphere is what um, is a bit infectious in some festivals. Uh, I look for so many things, so many things have to be right for it to be picked up for the festival. Um, it has to appeal to our industry audience and the public. It has to have a really good story, of course. People can um, walk away from with a good, with some kind of emotional journey after it's over, is what I'm really looking for. I'm looking for a great aesthetic, I'm looking for a a different look of something, a, a different look or a different take on uh, a known issue perhaps. And I'm looking for innovation and creativity in, in a way a film is made. Um, that's the starting point, you know. Everything else will build on from that. If you have those kind of things, uh, maybe you have, a, uh, you have a director whose work is, is well known or we've supported in, in the past, we want to continue the, the story of, the, of their work. Um, the, the, the press will respond to it and the public will respond to it and then hopefully industry responds to it. And once you have those, those things at, at its core that are strong enough, it can cross all kinds of boundaries and, can, and live beyond the festival, we hope. Uh, I'm looking for, I mean, I, my advice to short filmmakers is make the film that you want to make. Don't think about what festivals might want or what, uh, you know, what's going to look great on your showreel. It's a, it's a concern. Make the film you want to make and make it as honest as possible. And um, uh, my advice is also to make, to watch a lot of films. Watch as much as you can and, and absorb the, the, the language and, and the, uh, the tricks of filmmaking and uh, know them very, very well and apply them to, to your work so that you're giving something new to the audience. Um, I think people should be not held back by waiting for grants and funds and for applications to support systems. Just make the film you want to make and make it with whatever means is necessary. Um, I don't think people should make something over the top that is, that is just glossy sometimes. In documentary especially, you need, you need great characters and I can see when the director has a good rapport with someone they're interviewing because it, it shows immediately and it shows that that's a great skill a director should, um, should have. Um, I think they should make films, I think they should start off with thinking about, you know, why are they making this and not to lose sight of that because sometimes you can forget about why you're making a movie and get all caught up in, in uh, you know, the kind of look of the thing gets, 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 too, gets too complicated or about the festival strategy. It's like just thinking about why you're doing this. Keep that at, at the heart of your work throughout the life of, of the film and, uh, and hopefully you'll get, you'll get noticed because it'll, it'll be different. It'll be distinctive. It'll be, it'll be new. Uh, that's a bit of a debate, you know. It's like, will festivals even exist in a few years' time? because of the fact that uh, people are consuming their films in different ways and are finding films online or finding films in just ways away from film critics and film festivals. But I think festivals will exist because people do like to have that communal experience. I like to have a, a room full of people together sharing an idea and an emotion. It has existed for a very long time with us. It just happens to be that now is the time when it's most common in film, in, 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 in a cinema. Um, I think that documentary film festivals or film festivals in general, I think, are going to be leaving the realm of keeping things constrained 
Like, why not have films in other parts of this of your city? Why not why not embrace the natural landscapes of where you are and show films there? Why not um, why not redefine what documentary is through, through your festival? And especially in documentary, we're we're experiencing this uh, revolution of interactive film, which includes a bit of gaming, storytelling. It involves a bit of design. It involves you know photography. That's really interesting because you always art forms colliding and making things outside the system entirely, without distribution, without huge funding grants, all these things. And that, that makes for really, really great creative freedoms that are the future of film, I hope, I hope. Well, I, I just did my, my talk a little while ago, and I noticed the audience was like, loads of students, which is great, loads of young filmmakers, which is great, loads of artists, people who are not necessarily in film, who want to go into film. And because of the publication that Aesthetica is, it's attracted artists um, from around the region to get together and um, think about, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can bring something new, new to, this, to this, this, this form, or say what I want to say without painting or whatever it is that they're into. Um, that's one thing great about this festival, is why I've, I've come back, is they've, they've, they've been conscious about attracting other kinds of, of, of artists, not just film, but writers and whatever else to, um, to, to get involved. And on top of that, there's also older people as well who have been around for, for a while making films but are still eager to get a, a bit of the, the energy of, of this festival. And that's been, that's been more this year than ever before, I think. You really can feel it, you know? And um, I think having artist talks, artist uh, engagement as well in the session program and the discussions mixed in with the films is really exciting and really uh, rare in Yorkshire especially. So that's why I came back.